In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the announcement of Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption 2 and see if we can compare that to what Rockstar will do for GTA 6's reveal and kind of where we are in the process. So it all began on October 26, 2011 when Rockstar put out their first Newswire post for GTA V, Grand Theft Auto V trailer coming in just a few short days on November 2, 2011. And this is what the page looked like once the trailer actually showed up. You can see there that it linked to the trailer on Rockstar's YouTube channel. Prior to that, it had a countdown for when it was going to be arriving. At least so far, Rockstar has always told us when the trailers are going to be coming and at exactly what time they're going to be coming. So for GTA 6, it should be no mystery either. A few days later, on November 3rd, 2011, we got the official announcement for Grand Theft Auto V. This showed us the official logo, they announced the fact it was in full development, and they even gave us some desktop backgrounds, avatars, and icons, and we got some information on on the game like that it was going to be taking place in present-day Southern California, which we know as Los Santos. So Rockstar has done the same with Grand Theft Auto 6, said that it's in full development, but they haven't revealed as many details. So are we kind of right at the same point as where we were with GTA 5? It kind of sounds like it. Now after that, there was a pretty good gap as Rockstar released Max Payne 3, and they were also still continuing to support the multiplayer for Grand Theft Auto 4. So there was a little bit of a gap before we received any more information on Grand Theft Auto V. In fact, the next time we even remotely heard about Grand Theft Auto V was on July 12th, 2012, where Rockstar did an asked and answered, basically a Q&A, on Max Payne 3 and Grand Theft Auto V. And in this, they talked about why it takes so long for them to develop their titles like Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, they answered a lot of questions about what's going on with GTA V, when we will get more information, why they haven't given us more information. They did in that same post give us more screenshots as well, including one of a helicopter and one guy sitting on a pier uh, sort of in the park area. But there wasn't a whole lot of information here, but at least they were talking about the game, which is something we can't say of Rockstar right now in GTA 6's timeline. And then on August 20th, 2012, Rockstar started talking about the different parts of GTA 5. This first one here is transport. Then a couple of days later, they talked about leisure on October 22nd, 2012. A couple of days later on August 24th, 2012, they talked about business. So they really started outlining all the different aspects of the game and all the things you were going to be able to do. On October 18th, 2012, they just simply asked a question, what would you like to see in GTA 5 Cruise? So they were asking for feedback as that was kind of the first time you would see something like that in Grand Theft Auto's multiplayer. On October 24th, 2012, they released some artwork for GTA 5. This one is Pest Control. This is the famous Vangelico heist robbery that you do. It's actually the first one in the game, super iconic. And then a couple of days later, on October 30th, 2012, they announced Grand Theft Auto 5's first release date. And that is that it was going to be coming spring 2013. So we obviously know the game did not come out in spring of 2013, and that's something we should expect uh, for Grand Theft Auto 6 as well, that it's going to probably have an initial release date and then pushed back and delayed probably by six months to a year. They did the same thing with Red Dead Redemption, which we'll take a look at in a little bit, but they also announced at that time that you would be able to pre-order the game. It's probably something that will happen with Grand Theft Auto 6 as well, the first time it gets its first release date. And then, of course, just a few days later, on November 5th, 2012, they announced that the game was available for pre-order, and you could do so for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, and they also announced on that same day that there was going to be a second trailer for Grand Theft Auto 5. It was going to be coming on Wednesday, November 14th, 2012, again, this sort of keeps in line with the fact that Rockstar announces the date and time of their trailers. A couple of days later, it was on the cover of Game Informer on November 8th, 2012. So we got more information on the game right there. 
And this is when things really started to ramp up right after they announced the first release date, the second trailer coming, previews from around the world, including a full week of features at IGN, the second trailer arriving on November 14th, 2012. So that's when things really started to kick into high gear for Rockstar. And they started to do a couple of other things as well, like on November 26, 2012, entering a couple of contests, giveaways for merchandise and whatnot. I guarantee you the same thing will start to happen with GTA 6 here. We got more snippets like this one on November 30th, 2012, original artwork of Trevor on the ATV holding the sniper rifle. As we got closer and closer to that spring release date, they gave us more and more screenshots like this one right before the holidays of 2012 of this shark and diver underwater. We also had new merchandise like the Rockstar Games GTA 5 t-shirts that were available right after Christmas time. So you started to see more and more stuff like that unfolding. And then a little bit of bad news. On January 31st, 2013, they announced that Grand Theft Auto V would be coming on its official release date of September 17th, 2013. So it was a delay about four months. Rockstar said that it is to polish the game, make it absolutely perfect, and they cannot wait to exceed expectations come September. Again, I would be shocked if this did not happen to Grand Theft Auto VI. It's just what Rockstar does. Delays are almost inevitable. On April 2nd, 2013, we received the official cover art for Grand Theft Auto V, and it's the box art that you see on every single copy as well. On April 25th, 2013, they announced that we'd be getting another trailer, Michael, Franklin, and Trevor trailers on April 30th, which again, that arrived on April 30th, and that again gave us a look at our three main protagonists. It's very likely that because we have two main characters in Grand Theft Auto 6, Jason and Lucia, we will get a trailer for each of them. And this is where things really kicked off. On May 3rd, 2013, we got new screenshots. On May 7th, 2013, we got new screenshots of all different types of things, heist, motorbike action, etc. We got new artwork for Michael, Franklin, and Trevor just a couple of days later after that. New screenshots arrived on June 11th, 2013, followed by an asked and answer Q&A session on July 2nd, 2013. More artwork just a couple of days later on July 4th, 2013. The official gameplay trailer coming tomorrow. That was on July 8th. It came on July 9th. So again, it really started to ramp up as we got within a couple of months of release date. And it wasn't until about a month until release that we got our first official word on Grand Theft Auto Online. So I would expect that the multiplayer version of GTA 6 is going to be the last thing that Rockstar decides to talk about. And that trailer came, or that gameplay footage came on August 15th, 2013. A couple of days before that, they actually unveiled the official website for Los Santos and Blaine County. It was kind of like a travel blog that you could look at for all the things to do in Los Santos. So it was really starting to ramp up. The official trailer for Grand Theft Auto V came out on Thursday, August 29th, 2013, just weeks away from the game actually coming out. We finally got some more details on the soundtrack. Again, Rockstar giving away a vehicle that was featured in the game, a custom Bravado Banshee. I mean, there was a ton of stuff going on. They gave us more previews from IGN, some of the in-game updates to the websites like security, fitness, relaxation, a message from Colt Stoppers. They gave midnight launch details. They talked about some of the in-game websites like Life Invader. And then a day before the release, they talked about reviews. They talked about the iFruit app. And then the game officially being available on September 17th, 2013. And then, of course, with the weeks following, they gave more details on Grand Theft Auto Online because it did not come out with the single player version it came out a couple of weeks after something i would suspect rockstar will also do for grand theft auto 6 and its multiplayer as well and you can see you get more details on that as we get into things and as grand theft auto online started building and growing so that was for gta 5 now i know that was a long time ago in fact that's pretty much a decade ago but we can also recognize some of the same patterns that they did back in 2016 leading up to the release of Red Dead Redemption 2. 
So Red Dead Redemption 2 was officially revealed on October 18th, 2016. Do you see the similarities here? This time, Rockstar immediately announced a release date, fall 2017, but they said the trailer was going to be coming in just a couple of days, which it did on October 20th, 2016. And then there was a really big gap. Obviously, Rockstar was kind of in the height of Grand Theft Auto Online, so they had to talk a lot about that. There was a couple of fan art things in between, but there was a good little gap before we heard anything else about Red Dead Redemption 2, just like kind of what happened with Grand Theft Auto 5. So when we did hear about Red Dead Redemption 2 again, Rockstar came out and said, you know what, it's not going to be coming in 2017. Now it's going to be coming in spring 2018. They made that announcement on May 22nd, 2017. And in that announcement, they gave us some more screenshots to look at, which was pretty cool. But unfortunately, it is something just to expect with Rockstar Games titles that there probably is going to be a delay. We need to expect this with GTA 6 too. And then there was another long gap. We didn't get the official trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2 until September 17th, 2017. Now that gave us a lot of details and it kind of opened the floodgates a little bit for Red Dead Redemption 2 news. And even though we didn't get a lot in terms of Rockstar, it gave us a lot to discuss. And Rockstar did things like the double action revolver treasure hunt, which is something that was directly tied and to promote Red Dead Redemption 2 as well in GTA Online. It would not be shocking if Rockstar did the same thing in this version of Grand Theft Auto Online, gave us some things that could carry over to Grand Theft Auto 6 as well. And then on February 1st, 2018, they gave us the official announcement that Red Dead Redemption 2 would be coming on October 26, 2018. Finally, we had a release date for that game, but there was still a little bit of a gap. Rockstar didn't seem to give us as much information right off the bat, really until the summer of 2018. And that's when we really saw things starting to ramp up. We got first look previews of Red Dead Redemption 2 on May 3rd. We got screenshots from Red Dead Redemption 2 on May 4th. So that started to ramp up. On June 4th, 2018, they announced the Special Edition, Ultimate Edition, and Collector's Box for the game. You can almost guarantee you that there will be a Special Edition, Ultimate Edition, and Collector's Edition of Grand Theft Auto 6. On August 3rd, 2018, there was another cross-promotion. It was the Stone Hatchet in Grand Theft Auto Online that you could also earn in Red Dead Redemption 2. Then things really started to ramp up. On August 8th, it was announced that we would get the official gameplay trailer on August 9th, which of course came out a day later. We got the official gameplay video part two on August 1st. Again, this is about a couple of weeks before the game's coming out. The preview started happening a couple of days later. They started talking about the weaponry in Red Dead Redemption 2. That We got the launch trailer on October 18th. They talked about things like honor. They talked about things like gangs and getting ready and all that sort of good stuff. And then, of course, the game coming out on October 26, 2018. And after that, they started talking about different parts of the game. And then they started gearing up towards Red Dead Online as well, which we know entered a beta phase just a couple of weeks later on November 26, 2018. And then, of course, the launch of Red Dead Online. So it was sort of the same song and dance that Rockstar did with GTA 5. And I would expect they're going to follow the same pattern here. Now, things have been a little different with Grand Theft Auto 6, obviously. It was first officially discussed on this page right here, Grand Theft Auto Community Update on February 4th, 2022. And then it was discussed a couple of months later in the summer of 2022 as Rockstar sort of outlined all the things that were going to be going on throughout the rest of the year, although they still haven't specifically mentioned it by name. Again, all they did was talk about sort of what was going to be coming in a Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Online community update. And then, unfortunately, a couple of months later, on September 19th, 2022, they had to talk about the GTA 6 leaks, and they simply posted it as a message from Rockstar Games. It's not even on their newswire, it's just something that they did on their social media. But that is when they acknowledged the fact that the GTA 6 leaks were real. And then since then, 
we haven't heard a thing from Rockstar. So I guess you could kind of say we're kind of in that drought phase right now. So the flood door should be opening up really soon once, of course, the actual official reveal happens. And you can only hope that that is days, weeks, hopefully not months away, but it certainly could be from happening. And again, here we are right now. The last thing Rockstar talking about is the Circle Loco stuff. So that's sort of how Rockstar did things with GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. It would not be shocking if that is how they roughly did it with Grand Theft Auto 6. But I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know how you think Rockstar is going to announce and reveal GTA 6. What are they going to do with the trailer, the gameplay footage, all that sort of good stuff. And do you think the leaks had any impact on that? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.